back to my channel so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make this dress so i'm making this for a client so basically i'm going to start with the skirt part the skirt is just a pencil skirt with a box plate at the bottom right so the fold i have here is just her hip measurement divided by four plus one and then extra like 1.5 for the zipper allowance for the back so i'm just going to basically put a pencil skirt measurement here so remember whatever the full length of the dress is for her for her it's going to be about 43 i think and then you're going to subtract the shoulder to waist from the full length of the dress so once you subtract it whatever you have i decided to do 21 for this part and then about let's say eight inches for the peplum for the um, box pleated part that will be attached to the bottom so whatever you decide to use as the length of the pencil skirt part add one inch to it so that you can use half an inch to join this and half an inch to join this bottom part to this and half an inch to the, join this to the bodies right so let's just go ahead and cut a, pe um, a pencil skirt so the waist measurement is 37 um, um 38 divided by four so that's going to be about let's say um 9.5 plus two inches of darting and the of um one inch of seam allowance one inch of darting come down here mark her waist to her hip which is so once you've marked that you're going to connect from the waist like i said already the the measurement i have here is basically her the width of this fabric is basically her hip measurement already so i'm just going to connect from the waist down to that hip point and then whatever measurement you have at the hip you're going to so guys i've gone ahead and cut out the excess on this side so basically a pencil skirt and then you're going to go ahead and mark from here to two inches before your hip line my hip line is at 10 your waist to your hip and then i stopped at eight so that's basically it i split open the back panel here because this is for the zipper allowance remember it was in the fold so basically now you have a two um two piece back panel and one piece front panel but also don't forget to that this is going to be your dart and you're going to dart it two sides of the front two sides of the back so once that is done which is what we are going to go ahead to do now so one on each side we are also going to go ahead and take this once you join the sides of your skirt and then you put in your pleats you're going to take the peplum so you're going to measure around the opening of this here like round the opening you have at the end of your skirt and you can do about times two of that or times 2.5 which times 2.5 will be better so and then you're going to make a pleat that will go around so this is just a straight fabric like this and then i'm going to use it to add to the end of this but my whole the edge here this opening here is going to come to the center back of my skirt so basically how you make a box pleat is you keep your fabric straight you see how how long my fabric goes down right so you start from one end you can use your pin for this because it's a box split right and what you're going to do is start you fold one towards it like away from you and then one towards you one away from you and then the next one towards you one away from you the next one towards you so you can check the measurements you're using for each box split or you can just eyeball it so you don't make one box small and one box big but if you look at mine you'll see that most of my boxes are the same um the same width is what i want to say so you see this first one is wider because it's going to contain the zipper allowance sorry the seam allowance that is going to sew it close but you see the rest of them they are almost the same so that's how you're going to um, keep on going and once you're done you join it to the bottom of this skirt and then once we finish the skirt we'll come back and discuss the top so guys this is it here i've joined the skirt to the this part like i said this person wants their um the dress to be long like it's almost 47 inches long for the total length of the dress so that's why it might look a little bit too long but just make sure that the pencil part of your skirt stops right above your knee like if you measure from your waist to your knee go up at least three inches before your knee so that so that it can give you a better curve and it will not restrict your, you on your knee when you're walking. So that's the best way to do it. So now the next thing I'm going to do is to cut the top part. And so to cut the top part, I've already um, folded my fabric just like we did for the, um, the um, skirt part. So basically what I'm going to do here is just to cut a basic bodice. 
So her shoulder divided by two, her shoulder is six, um, 17, divided by two is going to be 8.5. But I'm going to remove one inch from it because it's going to be a sleeveless, um, a sleeveless. So if I remove um, one inch um, from it, I'm going to have um, 7.5. And then just go ahead and draw a basic body um, pattern. So one inch of shoulder slope, insert your armhole. Her armhole divided by two is at nine. And then connect it this way, give it a curve. And then go ahead and add your her waist divided by four. So you're going to go ahead and mark that. So for me, that's going to be about um, 9.5 plus extra two inches. And then connect it to the bust. Like I said, the fabric here is already her, the fold in total is already her bust measurement divided by um, four plus extra one inch of sewing. So now all I have to do is just to mark the neckline. So for the neckline, I'm going to do about 3.5 it depends on you i want to make the neck a little bit not 3.5 3.25 is what i'll do for her neckline but you can just stick to the three inches but i just want to widen it a little bit connect it to the shoulder slope and that's basically it so you can do um one inch uh, for the back neckline and then let's say four inches for the front neckline so now all i have to do is just to go ahead and cut this out so cut from here you see the back also has 1.5 like we did for the bottom part so all i have to do now is just to go ahead and cut this out and then cut only just the front uh neck the neckline for the front and then go down from here and cut the armhole once you've done that you also cut out the side and then don't forget what we always do for the back because remember most times the back um your back is um um shorter than the front so i always like to go up one inch from the center back this way and then i'm going to just connect it you see i went up one inch here so i'm going to just blend it into the side seam this way so connect it in form of a straight line like this and cut this off and then i'm going to mark my darts for it so you're also going to mark your dart both for the um so to mark the dart you're going to use your nipple to nipple measurement divided by um this will help my zip to relax better that's why i always remove this so i'm going to go ahead and mark nipple to nipple for her which is eight divided by two mark that so my dart here is going to stop my dart from the shoulder for her her shoulder to her shoulder to her nipple is at 12 so meaning my dart will stop one inch before that which is at 13. so my dart is going to go up here but the dart for the back will go up to the chest line which is at this armhole line right the dart for the back so i'm going to go ahead and notch the same position for all my darts and then i'm going to go ahead cut off this part join the whole join the whole dress together pick my dart and then i'll come back and show you guys how you're going to add that cape thing on it so once we add the cape thing, um, I'll join the top and the bottom of the dress together. So guys, this is it here. I've finished the dress. So I basically just made the pencil dress part of it, right? Join the top to this um, skirt. You see the pep, um, the box pleat at the bottom. So you see, for the armhole, I use bias. And then I also use bias for the neckline, putting the zip. This is the other armhole. So guys, now to make that sleeve thing that you see on it, basically what you need is a fabric, the fabric that you're working with, right? You're going to measure out the length you want yours to be. So basically, another thing I also did was just to go ahead and use my ruler and measure. It depends on you how low you want yours to come down. So I've already measured mine and I want it to come down at least 12 inches on her body. And then I measured it towards the armhole, guys. I just split the shoulder of the sleeve here into two right so two inches away from the end here and then i connected it but making it move towards this side there are two ways you can do this guys you can use a, a, a shoulder that and insert this here inside of that shoulder that's why you're sewing it right you can do that method or you can but if you see the one on the picture you see that if it's a shoulder that that will go right on top of your bust because the sewing of the dart goes right from the shoulder and connect. It goes right at the center of your bust all the way like this. But if you see this one on the picture, you see that her own is by the side of her bust. It's not on top of her bust straight connecting to the shoulder. It goes from the shoulder and then moves towards the side of her bust. So what I did is mark two inches away here, a line here. 
and then I connected the two of them this way. So you see, this line here, like this, I did the same thing again from her shoulder to this point, at least 12 inches down. But it depends on you. You can do shoulder to under bust. Her own goes almost to her under bust. But this one is at shoulder to nipple line is what I'm using here. And then I'm going to mark again two inches away from this point here. And then the same thing at the back. But instead at the back, I came down at least like 10 inches. Still maintaining that two inches at the top. I just marked a straight line towards the side again. So all I have to do now is you've seen this thing I've made here is about... I used, um, this is also a black cotton fabric because her, her fabric um, is not enough. It's only three yards that I'm working with. And this um, is for a bigger, a bigger person and she wants it long. So since the fabric is not enough, you can go ahead and even iron it stay if you want to. So how I'm going to sew this now is just to take it this way. This is the side I want to show, right? You see, I sewed in this part close sewed it close here and then tucked it inside out so it was like this when i sewed it and then i when, when i finished sewing it i flipped it out this way and ironed it this part is sewn this part is sewn this part is sewn all i have to do is make sure that this edge here is on this line right when i go to sew it and then i'm going to make a stitch all the way following down my line right following down my line and then sew it again towards the back right you see is exactly what my line is like like you're going to measure from the front so like i said my my in front is 12 inches towards the back again 10 inches so that's about um 22 inches so when you go to cut yours you might want to add half an inch at the edge here half an inch at the edge here to sew it down so that that will be your seam allowance and then once you've done that you're going to take it this way and then you're going to sew it down follow that line sew on top of the line and get to the back once you get to the back after sewing it then you can flip it over this way if you want, when you flip it over this way, after sewing it, once you flip it over this way, you can go ahead and top stitch it if you want. You can top stitch it this way so that it faces this way. Or if you want, you can just leave it the way it is. So I'm going to do that on both sides. So the same thing is what I'm going to do on this side. I'm going to place it like this. This is the wrong side. The side I want to face the fabric. This is the one I want to face outside. So I'm just going to take it this way, sew it down. Once I'm done, I'm going to flip it over. And then I'm going to have something that looks exactly like this. If you're think, if you thinking of what my length is, I think mine is about, um, I think six inches or so. But you can change it. It depends on you what you want. And like I said, you can iron in stay if you want yours to be stiff. But this is two layers of cotton fabric, so it's not soft. It will still stand. But you can iron in a little bit of stay into your own just to help it uh, look more firm. So I'm going to go ahead and join mine and bring it back so you guys will see what it looks like. So guys, this is it here. You see where my two darts are, right? You see my boss darts here. But you see, I deviated like away, two inches away or three inches away from my breast dart. Because if you look at her own, you see this is going by the side of her boss. I didn't keep my, my hand straight. See where the armhole is, you see? I didn't keep my hand straight. And like I said, I top stitched it down. If you want, you can put in um, the stay in yours. But this is how mine is. And you can come down like i said on that bust and then sew it all the way see the back here you see how the back so guys you see where my back um the line for the back stopped so just a little bit under or the same line as the chest line that's where it stopped the chest line meaning the armhole line so that's basically where the back stopped just a little to cover it maybe half an inch after the chest line that's where the back stopped so that's basically this is just a pencil dress a pencil skirt you can even make yours into just one simple pencil dress add the box split at the bottom and then at the top you put in this um this thing that looks like this flap by the sleeve and that's basically it underneath it is just a um ordinary um sleeveless and you see i top stitched mine just to hold it down and make sure it's facing this way the wind can blow it away so that you will see the um this here and like i said this is not lining this is actually a black cutting fabric i don't have much of her fabric that's why i decided to use this so that's basically it here thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye